Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Shark and Sharker video. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm familiar with how this series works. Basically, we go into the dungeon with the intent to make as much money as possible. Then we leave the dungeon and we take all of the rare items that we found and we attempt to sell them on the trade market. I give myself a 15 minute time limit so that way you have a realistic idea of what the items are actually worth. And then at the end of it, any items that I have not succeeded in selling that my character cannot use, we have to vendor them. That's how the series goes. Uh, very recently, I think technically yesterday at the time of me recording this, so who knows when I'll upload this, but yesterday, the uh, zero anti uh, high rollers have been reverted back to being 50 gold. If you go into a high roller dungeon, you not, you not need 50 gold to get in there. We're going to be heading into, I think, the high roller howling crypts because I have a lot of fun there as a rogue. I'm bringing in a luck potion. Our intent is to go to hell if we can. And as far as my gear, it's all very basic here, with the exception of this blue Chris dagger. Not a good blue Chris dagger, and I think this one might technically be uh, pre pre buff <laughs> Chris dagger, so I'm not sure exactly how long it's been sitting in my stash here for. We got to use it eventually, so let's get in there. Uh, I'm bringing a weak point attack too, and then just, you know, pretty pretty normal rogue perks here, especially for a solo rogue. And uh, let's go. I am curious to see how populated the, the dungeon is now that the 50 gold ante has been brought back. If you were to ask me, 50 gold is not a whole lot of money, so I think it should not be that big of a deter deterrent. But as you can see here, we this, this, this queue has been active for a, a whole minute so far. Generally speaking, it goes... It, it starts at five and counts down, right? So the fact that it's been active for a minute and there's only two other people in here leads me to believe that we're gonna not have many people in the dungeon, which I, I, I don't know. I, again, I've talked about this uh, ad nauseum, but I've, I've been vague about it in general. Ooh, there's a guy here, by the way. I, I don't know how I feel about the high rollers, uh, the high rollers being free versus costing money. I'm not sure. Try to talk to this guy real quick. Hello? Any, anyone there? Hello? No, it doesn't look like it. Anyway, um, I'm going to try to maybe create some alliances here in, in this pregame lobby. I will probably cut the video to when the queue actually pops, so I'll see you in a second. Okay. Hey, fighter. He's got luck function. It's, oh, OJ Simpson. I'm your biggest fan. He, d he did more than beat his... I don't think you know who O.J. Simpson is. Yeah, you know. The, the hand doesn't fit. The hand doesn't fit. Yeah, yeah, he, he, yep, yep, uh-huh. I don't wear gloves. You're wearing gloves right now. You got gloves on right now? You, you just took them off. You took them off. We saw you have the gloves on. I see the riveted gloves in your inventory right now. Plus one additional magic damage. Okay, gentlemen. Let's let's all have some good clean fun in there. You know, there's not many of us in this lobby. We can all we can all make it out alive here probably. You wanna be I'm probably gonna die to mobs, so Oh we got yo, we got a TTV everyone. Hey hey yo yo, everyone we got a TTV in here. Oh, oh, regular TV. Oh, he's, what, 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 what channel are you on? I'm not a TTV. Yo, yo, are you on like channel four? Wait, what, if you're on normal TV, what channel are you on? No. Dude, that's that's. I'm sorry, this guy's gonna ban you. Hello, oh, you went back. Fire, 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 fire. Fire. This is fucking miserable. This is fucking miserable. Okay, well, it's not a full lobby, but we got a couple people in here, as you can see. We've got not a TTV, we got a TV in here. Listen, I it would be funny to go see if he actually is live right now, but that seems a little feels a little BM. Hey there, hey there, what's what's going on, boys? You you chilling there? Okay, I'm I'm chill. Those those guys down there seem psychotic, so I wouldn't trust them too much. But us three, we're, we're all chill. Against the world. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. That was a little bit of a mess.
Maybe, maybe VoIP was a mistake. Who knows? Who knows? Ooh, one thing I wanted to talk about too here at the start. Hopefully the 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 voice audio is a little bit better. I've had specifically one person. I apologize for it. Keep saying that my voice is too quiet, and I keep saying like, "Oh, I'll definitely fix it," and then I forget to go fix it. <laughs> so hopefully it's a little bit better now. I don't know. Now, I hate this room. That's fine. Is that a crossbow guy? Oh, that is a crossbow guy, huh? This is not... I don't love the situation we find ourselves in currently. We can handle this, though. It's nice and slow and steady. Oh, with that one. They just... I died of poison for sure there, right? No? Okay, well... There we go. Let's try to let's try to break the jar here, huh? Okay. Spider is mostly dead. There we go. Okay. Not the cleanest start ever. Listen, this is my warm up run over today. You, can, you legally can't judge me too harshly. How do we do in the luck potion roll? 100 luck? I'm, I'm okay with that. That's pretty good. Sir, are you... Are you okay there? You're gonna do the one, two, aren't you? No? Just one? Here comes the one, two for sure. There you go. What are we doing stuff on there? That's kind of weird. Oh, well. Anyway, our goal today... Our goal today, A... Have better mic audio levels. Definitely check for sure. I did do an audio test before the stream started. Hopefully it is better. If it's not better, you know, what are you going to do, right? Mm. Also, I want to go to hell. The reason why I like going to the, the high roller here in the first place is because we get to go to hell. Or the high roller crypt specifically. We get the chance to go to hell and get even better loot. So that's hopefully the goal. And, uh, yeah. They're pretty good boots, especially for a mage. Uh, especially for a dagger mage. But, you know. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I have a, I have a question. If anyone knows this, I would appreciate answers. If anyone knows how this works. Uh, magic staffs now have magic damage on them. Does that damage get applied to spells you cast, or is it only on attacks? Does anyone out there know this? Also, holy shit, this dagger is so much better than my blue dagger. What the hell, dude? It is. This blue crystal dagger has to be uh, pre buff then. That's so much. That's so much more damage. Okay. Take this. Technically better trousers. This should be the mummy room, I think, right? No, not the mummy room? Never mind. I bet, not the mummy room. And we do have, over that way, the, 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 I don't know what you call it, the pit room? I don't know what you would call that one. The really annoying room, let's call it that for now. But, uh... There's some good easy to get treasure here on the on the top. I'm just worried if there's gonna be other players in here. The big chest is already open too, I think. Um yeah, someone's been in here. Someone has definitely been in here and may still be in here. For the record. Well I see uh, not an open door that way. Could be dead in here too. Oh no, they're mining. Where are they mining those? The question.
Very hard to tell the actual location. Oh, we got a rogue over there. Are they mining too? I can't tell. I don't think they see me though. I'm too, I'm too, I mean, I'm probably silhouetting myself on that, on that light actually there though. That's an issue. Uh. Oh, he stealthed. Okay, so the rogues are probably getting into some sort of scuffle, it seems like. A rogue over there. Being chased by a mimic, it would appear. And we got the rogue underneath us who's stealthed. It'd be weird if that rogue spooked him, though, from that far away. Oh. Oh, well, I see him down there now. It's all very interesting. Oh, we got him. Oh, mummy, what the heck? Oh. Hold on. Oh. Mummy dead? Ooh, that was a close fight there. But we did get him. Got the jump on him. And he's got better gear than I do, so... Let's take all this. The gloves aren't better. Uh, not that good of a rapier either. He's got a lot of ore. We'll take that. Absolutely. We drop our Marauder's outfit here. Good morning, Star. Okay, hold on. Sorry I'm not looting super fast. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Here, we can drop these. Take that. Up the pants. Go. Shadow hood as well. I think you saw me probably fart there. Not quite sure. We need to get out of here. Okay, let's take a break for the tower here. Snagged on something there. Oh, look at that. Wow. How convenient. You know, I wanted to go down, but I am very okay with our current looting results here. I think, listen, I consider that a great success. And it was a little unfortunate for that other rogue that we ambushed, but sometimes it's just how it goes. Well, it looks like this guy found our uh, our leftovers. But um, yeah, that might be one of the two rogues we saw at the start there, or at the at the end of the lobby there too. I don't know, but you know, uh, you gotta take your chances sometimes. You saw I saw a guy who was very vulnerable and kind of you know took him out. Anyway, short run, short run, but a good run for sure. Got. Well, these pants aren't that useful. Mm. Actually, a lot of his gear, th this necklace is very good. A 
lot of his gear was not that useful though. Let us first, as is tradition, sell the collectibles. We didn't have that many of them. We did cover the cost of the luck potion, but not of the entry fee. So we're going to have to make our money back on the rare items that we found. We shouldn't be too hard. We got nine ruby silver ore. That's a decent bit right there, just in and of itself. And uh, I think the items, I, I gave him a, a cursory glance. Like the plate pants are pretty good. The mystic vestments are, are pretty solid too for uh, like a warlock maybe. Or e even even like a, a wizard too wouldn't hate them. But like that's only a dagger wizard specifically. Um, but yeah. And we got these two, these two, these two maces as well, which are pretty sweet. Oh. Uh, the game. Oh, the game has crashed. I've been having a lot of crashes lately in the, uh, the menu screen. I don't know about anyone else. But that is not uncommon for me, at least lately. But, um, hey, better, better there than in the game itself, right? There we go. We're back. We're back. Uh, so. Got the timer up. Technically, all of these items here. Oh, oh, oh you know, I got to sell this lantern as well because the lantern we're just going to vendor too. Let's vendor that. All of the items that I'm wearing, basically these boots, these pants, and this Marauder's outfit, and the Shadow Hood too, are up, are, and, and the necklace here are all up for grabs as far as being able to sell. I imagine most of these are just not very useful. Like the Lightfoot boots just don't have very good modifiers. I mean, plus two will is actually pretty good for any caster. And maybe we will try to sell them then. I don't know. But I don't I don't see us selling these heavy leather leggings very easily. The modifiers on it are not super useful. Same with the Marauder's outfit. The Shadow Hood's fine, but I don't know if we'll be able to sell it. We can try to sell this too. And then the 27 damage Chris Dagger with plus one true physical. We could maybe sell that one too. I don't know. It is it is worse than our blue Chris Dagger, which is very funny to me. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let's go in. Let's go in. Let's start the timer. Let us see what we can sell. Also, I should probably make a little bit more space in here as far as uh, coins are concerned. So let's put these in an empty purse that I got. So we don't have to worry about item or money getting shunted into the, uh, the stash and me not noticing. Okay, let us get started in three, two, one, go. Now, we could technically sell both these pants and these mystic vestments to a cleric. I think actually, when I think about it more, clerics have really low resourcefulness, so they might not hate having a little bit more just so they can, you know, hopefully round their character out a bit better. But resourcefulness is pretty low value to begin with anyway. Um, it has some value if you're trying to go for like a mining build, but the clerics don't do mining builds, right? You're better off doing a, like a mining build with like a, a ranger or a rogue or a bard basically, because they have much higher agility and resourcefulness to begin with. So anyway, let's go try to see if we can sell both of these two uh, clerics. Cause I, th I think that's where we're going to have our best chance of selling them. So let's head in here. We have a lot of cleric gear, I'm not realizing, too, with the Morning Stars as well. We can... Here's what we're going to do. I think we can sell this as one big bundle for 400 gold. 400 gold for all. And I think, I think that's a pretty solid deal if someone wants that. But we can sell it piece by piece as well if we need to. Oh, hello there. Hello. Would you like all of it or just one or two items? How much for the Morning Star? Uh, the Morning Star. Uh, how about 100 gold? 100 gold? I'm willing to negotiate a little bit, but I think 100 gold is a fair price for it. It's got good modifiers. You're just going to immediately close the chat. You don't even want to negotiate. Okay, well, you know, that's that's fair. Let's see. Does that one work? That time it works. See? It's so weird. I don't understand why. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Again. Yeah. Your game crashed. Oh! Oh! I thought you just didn't like me, lol. I'll do 94 gold, that's fine. 
I'll give them a little. Uh, listen, I, I, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt there. But that was not a, a weird negotiating tactic, and they did just genuinely crash. So, person wants to buy 105 each. Well, I am, I am one short. Hold on. Oh, okay. Well, it's five per ore. Okay, I'll take 164. I, I don't want to spend all day here. This guy is being a little weird about it, but whatever. He's trying to buy ore. I'm trying to sell him ore. I'm sorry I don't have enough ingots for him. Whatever. 100 G. Crazy that we haven't been able to sell these sooner, I feel like. These are a good pair of pants. There we go. Okay. Finally, someone wants them. There you go. Oh. Sorry, buddy. I already sold them. Um, we have the Mystic Vestments and the Flange Maze to sell still. Let's get an idea of what we can sell them for to, to vendors so we know what our break-even point is. So five gold for that. So we have to sell for 20. And this one is 12 gold. So we have to sell this for t at least 28 gold to make a profit. It's not a big window. It looks like ain't no one buying it. Oh, and I put D instead of G. Oh, there we go. Heal the streamer. Would you like to buy my mace for 35 gold? Thirty. Yo, 37. We're making bank. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can sell our Chris dagger. <laughs> I forgot about our, our life of boots we could have tried to sell too for the, for the to the warlocks. Oh well. 50G. Anyone, anyone want this Chris dagger for 50G? Last call, last call. And this ox pen is worth a lot, but we just don't have enough time to sell it at this point. We spent too much time trying to sell the untradeables. And here's, here's where we ended up. Tragic. Okay. Uh, that's it. Time's up. Let me leave here. Pile our money up into more reasonable, decipherable metrics here, I guess. A little of that. Boop. Boop. How are we doing? There we go. Okay. So, end of the day, we... Listen, it's not the biggest payday ever for this series. Decent bit of money, though. It's uh, 300, 416 gold. Take away the 100 gold cost. Oh, I forgot. Hold on. Forgot, of course. Gotta, gotta vendor the, the vestments here, too. Right? So... It is, what is that, 428 gold, minus the 100 for the, the entry fee and the luck potion, right? But then, we did also just get, a, like, a full set of rose gear here, too, in addition, right? So, I think it's a, it was a pretty good run, but, you know, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.